the conference championship in the real NFL. We just had the conference championships where the Eagles smacked the Niners and the Chiefs plus refs beat the Bengals. But now it's my turn. We won a crazy, crazy wild card playoff game with a game winning field goal. If you didn't see that one, go check it out. It was a heater. And that takes us now to our own conference championship. I'm going to call it the NFC championship. Although if you want to call it AFC in your head, you can. You're just wrong. My backfield is absolutely incredible. Earl Campbell's maxed out. Lamar Jackson clutched up big time last game. And Okoye is Okoye. The only thing is there are two FX in the game. The Quad Father and King Henry who are so unbelievably good thanks to their X Factor. I'm not really looking to add either of them, but if I can't think of anything else, they wouldn't be the worst option. I feel bad for Earl Campbell, but it would be a good option. My offensive line virtually cannot get any better. Maybe I could get a 96 left tackle, but that's about it. My tight ends are great. My wide receivers are incredible. I really don't think offense can be touched. However, the same cannot be said for defense. My user is a tight end. I mean, he, he was pretty good. Like, I've had interceptions with him, but it's not, not a 96 overall. My MLB 2 is equally not so great. Jason Verrett is an awesome corner, but Okuda and Rims, you are a little outdated. And at last episode, I forgot to put in the refrigerator. I'm sorry about that, guys, but I do have him in now. Thankfully, he would have been D-tackle 2 no matter what. He has a higher overall than Jeffrey Simmons, but Jeffrey Simmons gets one AP inside stuff. That's exactly why we wanted him, so I'm not moving William Perry to starter anyway. Also, if you need Madden coins, make sure to go to instantmaddencoins.com. You can buy coins or players. I recommend buying players. It's the safest method. You're gonna get a way better deal than what EA would offer you, and my code MMG can get you 10% off. Enjoy the rest of Wheel'em Up, baby. Also, last game, Aaron Donald got no penetration. I'm not going to change anything now, but he got locked up. So I'm hoping that trend does not continue. I think most important for me is a kicker. I Like, and if I could get the Scottish hammer at punter, that would be amazing. But like, Cade York, I love you. Great game winning field goal, but that was from 19 yards. You had no choice but to make that. I, I think we could do better here at kicker. All right, boys, is today the day that Cade York is finally replaced at kicker? Been saying this pretty much every episode, so I highly doubt it. I get a kicker out of a pack? Three times store packs. So they have to be packs that cost coins, although it can be any pack that costs coins. There's a divisional playoffs pack that's very expensive. It's 170 plus gold and 86 plus playoffs and 191 plus playoffs. Weekly wild card is nowhere near as good. Most playoff packs appear to be the move. I'm gonna do two of those playoff packs, but I am gonna do one pro elite just in case I could pull like a kicker here. Be very nice because I don't think the playoffs packs have a kicker, although they might. I guess I don't know. Michael Irvin, all Madden, Justin Tucker. It's a full 89 Randy Moss. Useless on my team. McAllister, Nate Hobbs. Can't use anything there. Let's go to this divisional playoffs bag. This will guarantee something good. I just don't know. I mean, my, my, my team really is so good. How did we I already had? Roger Saffold's actually a very nice pull. Except my left guard is Quentin Nelson. I really am in a position where my team is so good. I'd have to pull a 96 playoffs player. This, this already does me no good. <laughs> 88 Richie James. I can't use you. Definitely can't use you. And 91 Robert Quinn. That's just a tough wheel spin because my team is so good. I just can't use any of those guys. All right, our second wheel spin. First one is a swing and a miss. It doesn't happen often, but it will happen. That's okay because we got. Oh, please, it's possible. Yes. Yes. As you guys can see, I have a nice collection of unopened packs on the bench here. All pro star fantasy pack. Got the ice breaking extra large. I don't know how that's on my bench, but what this wheel spin is for is the 92 or 95. Right here, I have the 92 overall stocking stuffer or a 95 overall unauctionable champion. Basically, we just get whatever is in this pack right here. There is a kicker. It's Daniel Carlson. So if this is a 92... Oh, wait, I get to choose. Wait, if this 92 overall stocking stuffer, is it a random stocking stuffer? Do I get to choose? out of all of them because if I choose out of all of them I could choose the kicker or I take a 95 unauctionable champion dude the problem is the champions they don't have any position that I need I'm going 95 because I think I think this is a choice between all of them right or is it one random player oh it is a fantasy pack I don't even know how I feel about this I sh maybe I should have taken my kicker but we're gonna have a choice between a ton of insanely good 95s Sean Taylor and LaDainian Tomlinson
option. I'm gonna get neither of them. I think who I am gonna get... Oh, that's actually a really good option. That's a good option. I already got Mike Evans. Taysom Hill I've had before and he was amazing. I think I'm getting that Megatron right there. Oh my god, there's so fucking many. There are so many good players. Quinnen Williams, Chris Jones, Denzel Ward. This Creed Humphrey is really nice. He gets free identifier. Okay, so Ted Hendricks would low-key be amazing, but I have Palomalu, right? This Megatron is so good. I have to go Megatron. He's gonna replace one of my corners. I was saying my corners are outdated. If you played any Mutt head-to-head, -head, you know how good this Megatron is. Everybody has him. He's 6'5". His change of direction is everything is... Am oh, he's so good. Let's go. Megatron corner. I think we made the right decision here. Does Megatron corner get free abilities? He gets zero AP pick artist and one AP deep out zone KO. I think I'm gonna give him that. Let's at least give him free pick artist. One AP deep out zone KO. That's a hell of a corner right there. I think Jason Verrett is still a little bit better statistically, but height wise, Megatron is way better. I think we made the right call there. I didn't get a kicker still though. Okay, the third and final wheel spin. I've already got a 95 Megatron corner. That is, but I'd very much like a kicker, please. please. Kicker, baby. All right, hold up. Let's mess around with some stuff here. Let's put Megatron at corner. Then let's move Okuda to where Ramsey is. And Ramsey is a 92 overall. And I'll transfer Ramsey. Or wait, is Ramsey actually a 93? Pretty sure Ramsey's a 92. So overall transfer lets me trade out a player. I have to sacrifice them, but I get another player of the same overall. So Megatron's now in. Let's activate his ability. So 92 Jalen Ramsey right here is getting sacrificed for a 92 kicker. I made the perfect choice with Megatron. I don't even know why I considered taking a 92 over 95. I just really wanted a kicker. And we get the same kicker that we were going to get if we got a stocking stuffer, Daniel Carlson. A six foot five kicker with 93 kick power, 89 kick accuracy. He gets a discounted ability, one AP focus kicker. That's literally not going to matter, but I do have a kicker who can actually kick the ball. Listen, I don't even know where this Cade York slander is coming from because he has made a lot of game winners, but it's nice to have more range than a 45 yarder. And we still don't have a punter and I want the Scottish Hammers so bad. The Scottish Hammer would actually be an awesome prestige. Which is another great question before this game. I do have Megatron in with Okuda at CB3. Megatron's got pick artist and deep out zone KO. But if we make the Super Bowl, we get a prestige. Who would that be? I kind of liked Aaron Donald before, but he's just not that good. Megatron would be a very good prestige. Offensive line would be a smart prestige, although kind of boring. Lamar would be a pretty awesome prestige. Mike Evans would be nice. I could even prestige a kicker, then I never got to worry about it ever again. In fact, I should get the Scottish Hammer in the Super Bowl and then prestige him. That's what I should do. All right, boys. All that's left is the challenge wheel then to play this NFC championship. Our challenge wheel is... Ooh. Ooh. This is honestly going to be tough, but I think he can do it. Our halfback must lead our team in three statistical categories. So that could be rushing yards, touchdowns, and receptions. It could be rushing yards, receiving yards, and receptions. But when the stat sheet is all said and done, he's got to be at the top of three. Alpha HMs. He's got big trust. Oh, he's got King Henry. Dude, that King Henry is so scary. Daniel Carlson kicking off. This one should actually go kind of deep, dude. KD York couldn't even put it back there. Kind of imagine he's going to run some read option here, right? He's going to take off with Big Truss, and he can't fumble. We know that all too well. I'm going to get on Palomalu again. I have to fill these runs with Palomalu. We're there. Uh, are we? King Henry's <laughs> so scary. This could be a left side run. See train clock. What? What? Why? Why are you doing that? I hate people like that. Left side is open. Oh, we got him this time. Aaron Donald knows I was thinking about not prestiging him. So he wants to get home now. Got the cute dude. Why are you chewing clock? Why do people do this? Oh, it's so, so lame. No way. Oh my God. <laughs> It's gonna be fourth and inches. He shouldn't have deserved the catch in the first place, but... Dude, why do people do this? Why do people come out and run chew clock in the first quarter? All right, let's see what he goes with. You're such a dick. Why are you chewing clock? Congratulations on the conversion, but what's the idea here? See if I can't bait out an INT here. Yep, there he goes. Manually. Not even turning chew clock on, but manually chewing that clock. Whoever was running right there had a chance to pick that off. We can't let this toxic ass dude win this game. Manually chewing clocks since the. I guarantee this guy knows who I am on YouTube. Actually, no, I can't even say that. This could just be some bozo, dude. Throws incomplete, so he can't chew the clock there. That's good news. I'm gonna guess pass. That could bite me in the ass here. Oh, no, we're good. Oh, I missed, and I missed the tackle. Tough. First corner in the books. Could be a run play now that Freight Train's back up. Yup. 
takes it up the middle. Nice hit, Palomalu. The fact that he went down is kind of impressive right there. All right, now we got to clog the middle. I'm scared of Derrick Henry one more time. I'm going to go on Zaire Franklin here. Okay, we got the run fits. Hell yeah, third and one. I'm going to run commit middle. Ooh, QB sneak. Oh shoot, it's first and goal now. Is he just going to come out here and QB sneak every time? He could have just audibled. Derrick Henry goes nowhere. This is almost a six minute drive now. He could get stopped right here. Oh, nice ball. That was a nice pass. That was a nice pass. I'm not mad about that. I was really thinking we could get our stop right there, especially with him passing. But all right, finally, the drive is over and we can take the ball on offense. I do get ball at half. I could give him a taste of his own medicine, chew this clock and score with no time left. Okay, let's try to run this right side. Just see how this looks. Good blocks, gentlemen. And Earl Campbell's gonna fight. Four yards to start us out. I'm gonna go inside zone. I'm just gonna keep handing this off. Ooh, unlucky right there. Third and three, two minute warning. I goofed that, I think. All right, that's easy. Just take off with Lamar, can't fumble. I'm chewing clock. Yeah, 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 yeah. You wanna manually chew clock in the first quarter? I'm gonna make you regret it. That's my goal here. See what we can get. I'm gonna go right side with Campbell once again. Beautiful blocking, gentlemen. Great downfield blocking. <laughs> Break the tackle from Megatron. First and 10. Let's see how this sets up. Keep it simple. I like that, Earl Campbell. Get off of me. I'm loving Earl Campbell. I don't need King Henry. I'm going to try that back. Uh, maybe not. Let's get a really good play out of this. Ooh, Hawkinson. Oh, oh. Nice catch. Big cock, hawk. Lamar threads the needle. All right, let's hand this off. Great blocks, gentlemen. I'm going to max protect scramble. We got time to think about it. Big the way in. 14 seconds left on the clock. It doesn't get any prettier. I know you regret chewing that clock like a dickhead. And I get ball at half. 14 seconds left. Eight plays, 79 yards. 214. He's got 14 seconds. And he does he did salvage his three timeouts. So a field goal is possible, but I think we just clamp up. We'll be alright here. Read option. Hey, great tackle inbounds. He uses a timeout. I did not expect read option though. See what he's got. Maybe a corner route. How did we not get him? Oh, big trust fumbled. And King Henry picks it up. How did he fumble? I thought he couldn't fumble. So he fumbled somehow. He's got a kneel. <laughs> Dude, I could have just scored right there. I don't think I would have had the clock awareness though. I was so confused by that fumble. I didn't, maybe because it was some weird animation. He can fumble. He's not supposed to be able to fumble. Hey, seven to seven. I get the ball. This is exactly how I drew it up after his six minute drive. It's a beautiful thing though. We go down there and score again. We make it 14 to seven. We'll be looking good. The only thing is my challenge wheel right now. I don't think I've got what I need with Earl Campbell, but I do not need to chew the clock. I can just bring out my best plays and run this to the... Dude, please don't. I bet you I could get Big Cock Hawk on a little corner out, though. About the only thing I can tell you. Keep going, Hawk. Keep going, Hawk. What a beauty. Uh, I'm just going to take off. I could have thrown that to Earl Campbell, too. I might be getting too many rushing yards with Lamar. I might be boxing out Big Earl right now. I'm going to try the stretch again. This has gotten him a few times. The blocking's been nice. Ooh, I got to cut that up, Matt. Oh, I got to hard cut that straight up. That was a trash, trash play by me. I'm going to go wide. He's there. What a ball. George Kittle, core elite. Finds his way. Great protection up front. Proud of the boys. Let's just get as many yards as we can. Six rushes, 38 yards for Big Earl. Let's send him out the backfield here let's just see how this looks for him it actually is open i'm gonna take it i was thinking about going with lamar since he can't fumble i just gotta make sure big earl has yards go lamar go lamar go lamar oh! Trust. The worst case scenario now is he chews the entire clock, scores, and makes a two-point conversion. Ooh, big game, though. It's the NFC chip, baby. We got to ball out. Probably one of the stupidest things ever is that kicker's abilities just disappear in the second half. I think it's because of the halftime adjustment thing. That's because EA sucks balls. And ugh, I just wanted to slide that in there. I just want to remind everyone that EA sucks balls. The script writers have it out for us right now. This could be read option. So I'm going to sit Micah Parsons down. It's not read option. Throws Kelsey again. He really likes that throw. Damn. Little face mask. Oh, it's a draw play to King Henry. And he breaks a lot of tackles. He is a very, very scary halfback. No huddle. Is that no huddle? I knocked him out of his rhythm. This is a good thing. Yes, sir. We're on his head. Oh, he throws a trash ball. I'm guessing pass here. 
Yup. I got the middle. I got everything. We're coming up the middle. Oh, he gets another throw away off. I know just how good that Lamar is. I have him myself. I'm going to blitz Micah and Milano. I'm going to guess pass. I'm going to hover the middle. We're going for the QB here. Go get him, boys. Oh, good play. But can we... Damn it. I'm not mad about that. I think after all that, he might run the ball. Okay. No run. Matt Milano! A potential pick six. Oh, I spun the wrong way. Honestly, probably smarter. He gets out of bounds. I don't got to worry about it. Let's go. Oh, 14 to seven. A huge interception. He is regretting every piece of that true clock. That's, dude, I can't believe he got to that. They rarely get to that. All right, I got to try and get Earl Campbell some rushing yards. Can you get that block on the far left? No, you can't. I mean, just lost rushing. Seven rushes, 35. I think, I think Lamar is out rushing him. Let's go by player. Lamar has got 83 yards in the air. I don't know what he has on the ground though. No more just call and run plays. We're calling the big boy run plays. Hawk's gonna come over and lay a fat fucking block. We're gonna walk this up the field. Yup! Oh my god, why'd you get stuck? Yeah, how's that true clock feel? Okay. A questionable block there from TJ Hawkinson. I guess he just doesn't want me chewing the rest of this. I really don't know, but perfectly timed kick can't be blocked. 17 to 7. Two possession lead. I do not have halfback triple crown right now because touchdowns are both Lamar. He might have rushing yards. He might have receptions. He might have receiving yards, but probably not. If anything, Hawkinson has receiving yards. I got to go off with Campbell on the next drive, assuming I get a next drive. He's not even going to make an adjustment. This is so... Like, he's chewing the clock, but he's not a... He's not even audibling. He's just being a dick. Second and 10. Let's just keep it up, boys. I kind of thought he was going to go there. Hey, great breakup. I think mid zone KO did that. Oh, nice play. <gasps> really nice play. Oh, that was a lot, a lot worse. He finally decided not to run shoe clock and his offense looks good. Oh, Parham's there. Yes, sir. Lamar was thinking about it, but the D-line got there. Great work, gentlemen. He's getting boxed right now. Who's there? Megatron! Megatron! <laughs> I just hit puberty. That was such a big play. On the one is sketchy, but that was man coverage. And Megatron clamp. Okay, he thinks I'm going to the middle. If I can get these edge blocks, this will be such an elite run. Let's go, Campbell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir! I'm going to run stretch right side this time. Yup. Hey. Hey, great work, you guys. I could be trucking those safeties there, but no need. I mean, in reality, in reality, I could just run one more run play and punt it the ball to him. I don't have a good punter, though. Not having a punter is kind of a problem here. Right, I'm going to try and make this look like a pass. Actually, I will just make this a pass. I had a lot of things, but Lamar can't fumble. It's literally the safest option if it's there. That's so, that's so good. It's way too good. Does he run commit middle? No. 13 rushes, 41 yards, Earl Campbell. Lamar has 42. If I get Earl a big run here, call a timeout, and then pass him for some serious yards, he actually could get the triple crown, I think. We're gonna find out. I gotta get yards here first. Okay, cut that back. Yes. Okay. That may legitimately be enough. Now I just need a good pass to Earl. Okay. Campbell? Okay. I can't, oh, I might have been able to call one more timeout. I don't know if that did it. He needs receptions, receiving yards, and rushing yards. He's got Eagles Andy Reid over there. Hey, GG's to my opponent. I might have been being too toxic. I might have been being a little dramatic. But that first drive, the manual chew clock, and he did not score since that drive. So I'm very proud of our defense. We really clutched up in that game. I think I just get mad as a content creator because I'm like, bro, I want to play. I want to score. I want some highlights for Wheel of Mutt. But it sucks like half the game. I, I don't know. I was probably being a little bitch. But let's... Hey, hey, hey. The only thing that matters, number one, my Lamar outplayed his Lamar with my six for six completions. 93 yards, 100% completion. No touchdowns though, so we only get a 118.8, but he did have two interceptions, one touchdown. I swear to God, if I got the other categories, I'm actually gonna be so pissed. Lamar has one more rushing yard. We would not have won that game if it was not for Lamar. Lamar completely carried. Multiple huge first down pickups, two rushing touchdowns. Earl had three receptions. Hawkins, oh no. Hawkinson had 30 six receiving yards. Earl only had 20. Didn't get it anyway. I really struggled with that challenge. No challenge is fine because a win in the NFC Championship is really the only thing I'm looking for. Huge. Two weird things I want to note before we go. Number one, Sauce Gardner does not have his card yet as I'm recording this. And I feel like I've waited so long. I'm already into February. And Team of the Year hasn't come out yet. I looked at my videos last year. I posted a Team of the Year video on January 27th with the whole Team of the Year, all the Team of the Year cards. It's February. I haven't seen a single Team of the Year card. So I really hope they drop that. 
Such an awesome promo. If they took that out, I'd be really sad. The team is looking beautiful. We made it to the Super Bowl. So I'll get one new prestige. And again, keep in mind, Sauce Gardner is a prestige of mine. However, gotta be at least by next season I get his card. I'm hoping. Matt Milano with a huge play in that game. A massive turnover and things are looking good. All right, boys. I love you. Thanks for watching. As always, big dub. I'll see you in the Super Bowl. Peace.